Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a hot spot gold ribbed hare's ear. The hook I have in the vise is a 3769. This is a size 8. This is a two extra heavy wet fly nymph hook from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. I'm going to start out by putting weight on and I'm going to use 10 thousandths lead wire lead free wire if you prefer I have 25 wraps of the wire I'm going to use a fluorescent orange 70 denier 8 aught thread and this fly is good for trout, grayling, any salmonoid species. We're going to take this thread and we're going to start it in front. When I reach the lead wraps, I'm going to hold them in place until I get up on top of them. And we're going to take that back. And I'm going to bring that thread back down. And I'm going to take this thread slightly around the bend of the hook. Spin that counterclockwise and flatten that out a bit. We're going to make a hot spot on the tail. When we get back up to the barb of the hook we're gonna stop there at this point you want to put some head cement on there I'm going to use my Deer Creek Diamond Fine and we don't need a lot Put a little bit on there to secure the wraps from the teeth of the fish and give it a quick curing with the light. Now for the tail I'm going to use pheasant tail center and I'm going to use these nice brownish or reddish ones off the side. And I took about two mils or a quarter of an inch And we want that tail to be maybe one half to three quarters the length of the hook shank. We're going to tie that in right there. I'm going to wrap this up using the pheasant tail to block the slits in the lead wraps. Go ahead and take that off. Bring that thread back down. Got a nice coverage on the top there. Now I have a gold and silver tinsel. I'm going to tie that in. This is a number 14. We're going to tie that in so we can see the silver side. And when we wrap it, we'll see the gold. Now we can take our hair's ear light and we're going to make a pretty skinny noodle here. We're going to go ahead and wrap that. I'm going to come back to the tail first then we're going to move forward. Need just a little bit more. Make that a little bit thicker right there where it's going to meet the thorax. We're going to take the 
tinsel and we're going to wrap that Bring that right up, and I'm going to tie that off at the thorax section. And I can get rid of the excess. Put a couple of long ones there, trim them down. Now for the wing case and the legs, I'm going to use the pheasant tail center once again. And I'm going to take a half an inch. These are going to be our legs, so I'm going to leave the tips stick off the front for the length I want my legs. And the top, you want to keep that flat. Even if you take your finger and flatten that out like so. I'm going to come about halfway to the eye of the hook. I want my legs to stick out in the middle. Take a little bit more of the of my wax and put that on the thread. Now I'm going to use dark hairs here. And we want this a little thicker but still a skinny noodle. We're going to take that and move that back and start it. Now when I reach the legs I'm going to divide them Get a nice even amount on each side. Grab them and pull them to the rear. And sometimes you'll have to go back on them slightly to keep them going to the rear. I'm going to take more of the hair's ear dark. I'm going to cover over the wraps that I got and I'm going to move it forward. And bring the thread up to the eye. We're going to fold over the wing case. Just grab all of that, fold it over, tie that end straight down. Lift it up, put a few wraps in front, locking them in place, and we can trim that off. And make a hot head. Take our whip finish. Remove that, and I'm going to put the head cement on. Once again, I'm going to use my diamond fine. Cure that. And here we have a hot spot gold ribbed hair there. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you'd subscribe to my channel. 
Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.